hello everyone good day it's me Makiba, your sister in Christ and today I just wanted to make a short video and this video has been really pressed upon my heart and that is to embrace your season of rejection I know when you're going through a season of rejection you're in a state where you're broken you're in so much pain and you just want that to end you just want comfort you just want peace you just want to feel like yourself again and there are times when you're seeking help from others and there's no one around to help you i am very familiar with these seasons as i have been currently engaging in one of them and i have been alone in this but and it has not been easy there are times i felt as if i was going to lose my mind because i was under so much pain and what I had to do, because I had no one else to turn to, I had to just fully rely on God. And then God started to make me realize that I'm going through this season for a purpose. It's to strengthen me and to teach me to rely upon Him and not upon men. And it's not been an easy journey, but it's been a journey that God has given me the grace and the strength to go through with a sound mind to endure and i have been really resting upon his word and his scriptures and just trusting in him knowing that this too shall pass and if god is allowing it he's allowing it for a reason for a purpose and i just wanted to share a few scriptures that you know that has helped and would be of encouragement to others and this one is Psalms 34, 17 to 19. It says, The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to rescue each time. And we have Matthew 5, 4 that says, Blessed are those who mourn. For they will be comforted and psalms 147 verse 3 that says he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds so this is just some of many scriptures that's within the bible that you can look to for encouragement as you're going through your season of rejection and i'm telling you it's not an easy thing because then you're faced with many temptations and that's when the enemy creeps in and tries to attack and he really tries to bring you down he tries to break your faith and all sorts of thoughts that come in your mind but that's when you really have to apply the word of god that's when you have to stand on his word that's when you have to remain firm and you have to trust and believe that god will see you through it the bible says that god is our refuge he's a pleasant help in times of trouble and these are some of the scriptures i would have to remind myself all the time and especially with the season that I am going through because I'm going through a season of separation where I had to separate from my spouse and it hasn't been an easy thing for me because this has not been something that I personally wanted but it's something that I was forced to do in order for my survival, in order for my sanity, in order for me to function in the calling that God has for me. I had to separate myself. I fought the good fight, but at the end of the day, I had no choice. I was forced to separate, and it took a toll on me because this is not where I saw my life going. This is not what I wanted, but it's something that I am going through, and it's something that I have to just leave in the hands of the Lord and to just trust that God will work everything out for my good and for His purpose. And I have been really relying on God, especially now I have been relying on God. I have been reading scriptures upon scriptures. I've been spending a lot more time with the Lord. And I have just been growing my feet, even more learning to rely on Him. Because He's really my rock. He's really my foundation. Men might fail me, but God will never fail me. And so as I go through this season i'm learning to understand that this is a season that i should embrace not a season that i should feel ashamed of or not a season that i should pity myself but a season i should embrace knowing that 
at the end of this and when this season has ended I will come out of this much more stronger and much more victorious so I am just trusting in the Lord as he leads and I just wanted to make this short video just to encourage anyone who's going through a season of rejection to be encouraged and know that this too shall pass sometimes God allows us to go through this season to build up more endurance and character within us because sometimes the place where God is um, is wanting to take us it requires us to have a stronger backbone to be able to deal with what will come our way for example if you're going into ministry and God wants you to to speak his word and not the narrative as what these fake churches are teaching and speaking that is going to cause a great deal of hate and you're going to experience a great deal of rejection so sometimes we have to look on this season as a preparation for us to take us to higher heights to take us to where god wants us to be so i am this is what i am basically doing i am embracing this season the season of rejection the season of when lies are being spoken about me the season of when hate is being shared towards me the season where people are pulling away from me and blaming me for things that you know that i never committed things that has been beyond my control things where they never came to hear my opinion to, to hear my side of the story sorry but formulated their own opinion and it has not been an easy season um god really i really had to rely on god I really had to rely on God because it, it has not been an easy season there was moments where I was really in a place a place of like I was in a pit and I just needed someone to pull me out but I had to really rely on God to get my strength because the Word of God says that my strength comes from the Lord so it's in him is who I rely on and I'm looking at this season as a season to grow me a season as to make me stronger for the next elevation in which god has in store for me so with that being said i thank each and every one of you for watching this video and stay tuned god bless each and every one of you